an invisible danger hurdles towards Earth at close to the speed of light. These are intergalactic alien interlopers on our Milky Way. Cosmic rays. Getting hit by a cosmic ray is like getting hit by a cosmic bullet. Cosmic rays are billions of times more energetic than any other types of particles, vastly more energetic than anything we can even create in a laboratory, in a nuclear fusion reactor, anywhere. They pierce spaceships, putting our astronauts in danger. But the source of their power is a mystery. Are they coming from other galaxies? Are they coming from things in between the galaxies? Where do cosmic rays come from? Truth is, the most powerful ones, we haven't got a clue. The race is on to solve the mystery of the fastest particles in the universe. If I were to make a list of the dangers of space, it would be a long list. You know, there's hard vacuum, huge swings in temperatures, micrometeorites, all kinds of things. But probably at the very top of that list, cosmic rays. These space invaders are not what they seem. When you hear the name cosmic rays, you might think it's like a, a beam, like a laser beam of light. No, 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 no. It's a tiny little death particle. To fight them, we must first understand them. April 2019. NASA's Parker probe flies closer to the sun than ever before. We know the sun produces some of the cosmic rays that fill the solar system, but we don't know how. Our sun looks like a beautiful glowing orb bringing energy and light to Earth and allowing life to thrive. But if you look at it up close, you'll see a tumultuous storm of events. The amount of energy the sun is emitting every second is the equivalent of 100 billion one megaton bombs. It's a dangerous neighborhood. Suddenly, the probe is caught head on in a powerful blast. It's perfectly positioned to monitor the outburst from the inside. The entire outer third of the sun is a boiling cauldron. And tied up in that plasma are magnetic fields that get tied and twisted, and energy is stored in them. So they rise toward the surface. And there they rearrange, they reconnect, they twist, they spin. When the magnetic field lines snap, energy bursts out. And sometimes, that energy release is explosive, and that's what results in flares, which are these huge bursts of light. The probe discovers that after a solar flare, the sun's surface stores electrically charged particles. But sometimes, there's a second explosion, called a coronal mass ejection, releasing superheated, electrically charged gas called plasma. These giant balls of plasma go flying off the surface of the sun, and in those balls of plasma are contained these charged particles. The charged particles move fast, but they hit a roadblock, a cloud of slower moving particles that always surrounds the sun, the solar wind. Well, the coronal mass ejection is moving into the solar wind much faster than the wind is moving. So it sort of runs into it and creates the shock wave and ends up piling up particles at the edge. The shock wave and particles slam together. In the collision, the particles steal energy and speed, like a baseball accelerating off a bat. The particles transform into something far more powerful, a solar cosmic ray. They're light, but they're moving incredibly fast. The Earth is on average 93 million miles away from the sun. And these guys reach us in about an hour. That's 93 million miles an hour. That's pretty fast. The cosmic rays speed towards Earth. We're under attack. Cosmic rays are by far the most energetic particles that we know to exist in the universe. 
And when things with very high energy, no matter how small they are, impact something else, they deposit that energy, right? And so cosmic rays can be very dangerous. Solar cosmic rays aren't the only threat we face. Other space bullets arrive from beyond our solar system. There are different kinds of cosmic rays, just like there are different kinds of, of bullets. At the lowest end of the spectrum are these solar cosmic rays. These are like the BBs, and when a BB hits you, it, it might sting for a little bit, but you're not gonna get too worried about it. A bigger concern, galactic cosmic rays. They travel faster and have more energy. If solar rays are like BBs, the galactic cosmic rays are like rifle bullets. They're far more dangerous, they're moving a lot faster, but they're also more rare. Faster still are the universe's most wanted, ultra high energy cosmic rays. If you thought galactic cosmic rays were bad, it's because you haven't met an ultra high energy cosmic ray. These are the biggest, baddest, meanest cosmic rays in the universe. These ultra high energy cosmic rays are like hypersonic missiles. They are screaming and they come from the most energetic events in the universe. The ultra high energy cosmic missiles are the rarest, but also the swiftest. These cosmic ray particles are moving fast. These mysterious particles are moving incredibly close to the speed of light. I'm not talking about 99% the speed of light. They're moving through space at like 99.9999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999
Well, when a cosmic ray travels through them, it can damage those cells and make them cloudy, causing cataracts. When NASA examines the astronauts' helmets, they find tiny tracks etched through them, evidence of cosmic ray impacts. When we say that cosmic rays are like tiny little bullets, we're not joking around. In some of these, burrowed all the way through the helmet, which means it ended up in the astronaut's brain, which just makes me feel weird to think about. What might that long-term radiation do to your brain, to your ability to reason and problem solve in one of the most dangerous environments that humanity's ever placed itself? The farther we venture from our home planet, the more danger we face.